For are getting answers now about the impact migrant students could have on their public school system. School leaders laid out their plan tonight, and the night team's John Perrick is live in studio with details. John? Patrice, Dan, from the meeting tonight, we learned now a total of 41 families in need have arrived at the shelter in Norfolk. A total of 133 individuals and 33 are school-aged children, a number the school district says they expect will soon grow. It doesn't make any sense. Kathy Fox has lived in Norfolk for nearly 60 years. She's a former teacher. It's unsustainable. Yeah, you'll, the you'll money is the just not there. Right? Fox is talking about how a former Norfolk prison equipped with dorm rooms, a cafeteria and a gym has now been turned into a temporary home for what could soon house 140 families. That's roughly 450 people, many of whom are migrants. The state just threw this on it without taking our our thoughts or our our lives into consideration. And tonight, people throughout the town flooded into King Philip Middle School looking for answers. We have a current space issue, so yes, I think space will be um, difficult. During tonight's meeting, the school committee announced it will soon receive a grant up to $250,000 in federal funding to address the space constraints. The school committee plans on relocating offices to create additional learning spaces with help from federal emergency relief grants. And schools will also test out bridge classrooms to help ease in potential migrant students who are unfamiliar with traditional schooling. We need to make the best of it with well thought out plans. Jennifer Wen is a former school committee member in Norfolk. We need to really come together and advocate for state and federal aid because towns cannot, this is not sustainable. You can be against immigration or for immigration. We're still, we all have empathy here. We don't wish harm on any of these people. And now the school committee also saying it's not planning on registering students for migrant families until the first week of August and the average cost it will take to educate a student is $18,000. Live in studio, John Perrick, NBC 10 News 19.